What's up, MQ? I'm Joe Daler. This is my tattoo tour. This one is actually a little bit more serious than you might think. This is in memoriam of my friend, Silas Hall. He died in an accident last year, and you know, he loved Hatsune Miku. Every time I look at my forearm, which you know, I see all the time, it's just, I think of Silas. So this one, as you can tell, is Bob the Minion. I mean, if you guys don't know Bob the Minion, then I don't know what you're doing, but watch the Minions. Personally, you know, just one night, I saw the Minions, I was feeling down, saw it alone, changed my whole point of view. I mean, I just felt great after that, and I felt like I had to thank the Minions. Now, hold on a second. Isn't that Stuart? It was, uh... I, I told the guy who, he knew Minions, he was supposed to do Bob, is, is this not Bob? For any of you that know me, I'm really big into adventuring, I'm always outdoors, you know, I just love having a good time in the woods and stuff, and you know, like, adventure always, man. I'm just an adventurous guy, I mean, what can I say? This one's actually Cobra surrounding weight, because Cobras are metal, and um, you know, my Uncle Tyrone really wanted me to be a bodybuilder, but I, uh, I, I, I couldn't, but you know, memories of a different life, I guess. <laughs> I mean, honestly, in my opinion, I just don't even have to explain this. This is also just a sign of, I really support like women in sports, especially WNBA. Yeah. You know, where I'm at, they call me the zombie shitter. This is a men's restroom side, but made zombified, because, you know, I'd be on there all the time. Somebody once told me on the street that, you know, I shit so long, I might shit through the apocalypse and not notice. So, so it struck a chord with me. I decided I'd get it, you know, on my arm really big. Yeah, so when I walked in, I mean, I saw this on the wall, and it just fit my vision perfectly. I didn't even ask what it was supposed to be, but this is what it means to me is the zombie shitter. Dude, this one's so cool. If you guys haven't watched Gundam, you totally should. This is Mobile Suit. It's the OG. I love The Simpsons. Used to watch it all the time as a kid. You know, you got Alberto, you got uh, the girl, you got um... Funny stuff happens there. Funny yellow people. They're like the minions in a way. Uh, since I grew up with them, they're really close to my heart, so, you know, put it right in the middle of my chest where my heart is. This fella right here, this is Bron James. Uh, the reason I got this is because one time I was at a Lakers game, and he did the impossible and scored 208 points. And after that, I was just blown away. I tried to shake his hand, but they uh, didn't let me. And then, uh, anyways, I got this, you know, tattooed right here. Because you always got to trust your gut, and there's nobody who trusts their gut more than Bron James. <clears throat> uh, so this one on the back of my neck is a popsicle. I just, you know, I really like popsicles. Unfortunately, the guy was out of orange ink, otherwise I would have got my favorite flavor, orange creamsicle. So this one is also of Hatsune Miku. This one actually has nothing to do with my past friend, Silas Hall. Dude, I just, I really love Hatsune Miku. And you know, I just wanted it there. <laughs> What's your favorite song? Uh, I don't know any of them actually. I just, I really like the way she looks. <laughs> She's just a really pretty girl, so. So these ones are butterflies. The top one is for, you know, gotta keep the butterflies out of the stomach. You know, gotta keep everything good. Uh, the second one is actually for the the one that got away. I mean, she just, she flew away from me and never came back. And I, uh, you know, I just thought it's a really big part of my, who I am. I love dinosaurs. This one is one of my personal favorites. I just got it recently. I like dinosaurs a lot, but unfortunately they're a thing of the past. So I put them behind me. Which tattoo was your first one? Uh, so that would actually be this one. 
you know, because it was just something I loved at the time uh, in my childhood, I decided as soon as I could, I'd get them, you know, closest to my heart. This one actually took me 86 hours to get on. It was excruciatingly painful and they had to go over it a few different times because it healed over before I got the coloration in it. And then the color was wrong. I had to go back and they had to redo it uh, like six times. But so yeah, 86 hours, definitely worth it. My favorite one. <laughs> so was that the most painful one? Oh no. Most painful one would have to be the one on my back. They, they gave me the trainee guy and he, uh, he was poking really, really close to my spine. And I don't know, I had to go to a doctor after and they said some very uh, harsh things. I was in a lot of pain. I had, you know, chronic back pain, still do because of it. But, uh, you know, it's only been a few months and uh, chronic's not forever, is it? So. so after having such a long and painful experience getting your first tattoo, what made you decide to continue to get more tattoos in the future? Uh, honestly, I don't even know, but every time I go in, I mean, take a little bit, I just, I cry a little bit first, I have to throw up a few times so I can be ready to get the tattoo, and then I have two of my friends hold me down while they tattoo me, because I mean, it really hurts. I don't know if you've ever gotten a tattoo, but like, I broke my femur once, and it, it wasn't as bad as getting, like, even this tattoo. So we know what your favorite tattoo is, what would you say your second favorite one is? Um, I'd probably say the Gundam one. I really like the line work on this one and the shading. It's just got some great color too. Also, you know, Gundam's just freaking sick. So, there's always that. He's got a massive gun. I'd say that's gotta be my second favorite. Do you have a least favorite tattoo? Uh, yeah. So, unfortunately I'd say my least favorite one is this one. You know, it made sense at the time, but after I couldn't get his handshake the first time I went to the Lakers game, I went to like four more and every time they wouldn't let me shake his hand for some reason. I mean, I ran over as fast as I could as soon as he was going off court and they just wouldn't let me shake his hand. I actually got thrown out of the last one. And I mean, screw him for that. I'm thinking about getting it covered up with the Rook from Chess because I really like Chess now. And I think that it would fit nicely. <laughs> so as a whole, what do your tattoos mean to you? My tattoos just tell my story. When I can't speak, they'll be able to talk for me. Okay. Do you have plans to get more tattoos in the future? Absolutely. I mean, I'd like to cover pretty much everything I can, except, you know, probably not the rest of my face. But if I could find uh, a piece to fit everywhere, I'd do it. What advice do you have to kids who think they might want to get tattoos when they're old enough? Yeah, it's a great idea. I mean, get them as fast as you can. This one I got when I was 14. The only advice I'd give you is uh, just get as drunk as you can. It really helps. Thank you again, MQ, for having me. And you know, trust your heart, man. Peace. I'll be back someday. I mean, I'm gonna get a bunch more.